Okay, we're continuing on from our linked architectural model here in our lesson two. With this, we are going to start to copy monitor our levels and copy monitor our grids. And what that does is it takes the level datums and the grid datums from the architect's model, copies them into our model and links those two elements together. So they communicate if, if it moves in the original link. So it's kind of a bi-directional um, intelligence between you and the architect based on specific elements. So let's go have a look at our south elevation, double clicking inside of here. Now, when we started the um, project, there was a level one and a level two, and we can still see those two guys right inside of here, but now we have this great big architectural project in here. Now, even though the architect's model, we can see the levels through the link here, those are the architect's levels. If I click on there, those are not our levels. So what we need to do is make our copy of these grid lines in these levels and delete our original ones. Okay, now I can take this upper level two, click and delete it. It'll disappear, it'll tell me that it's deleting some views, that's okay. Now I cannot delete this one because it's the only real level in my project. So I'm gonna come back and delete that guy after the fact. All I'm gonna do now is copy monitor these levels. So watch how I do this. I'm going to go to collaborate and I'm going to click copy monitor. Copy monitor by selecting the link, not by using my local project. And I'm just going to pick anywhere on this link. You go into copy monitor mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at the options and then say levels. These are the levels in the architect's file. These are my levels. If I, this is a type, this is, you know, a type of visual symbology. This is mine. I have different types in here. I have copy the original type, just basically clone theirs. Don't copy it at all. Use this type or this type. So I'm just going to leave it like that for the time being. So have a look at that. Nothing too complicated there. So I'm going to use this copy tool right here, copy. And I'm not going to do onesies and go copy, copy, copy. I'm going to say multiple. That way I can do a crossing box, grab all those. Now I could hit my filter button to make sure all I have is levels. Good. And that's it. I can hit, don't hit finish up here. Hit finish down here. When it does, it's going to now go whoop, and it's copying those levels into my project right inside of here. And it's going to make my new levels, and it's going to be um, using that plenum kind of type level symbology, which you're going to find out we're going to change in the end anyway. But for the most part, what it's doing now is it's creating one, two, three, four, about five different levels. Oh, a little blank there five different levels in my local project. And there they are. Now watch what happens. All of a sudden that whole um, area with the copy monitor thing disappeared and it's actually right here. Okay, but what you can do is you can either click on here. It's a bit confusing because it automatically goes into this. Okay, so what you can do is either click in, in blank space here, click, or you could have clicked the copy monitor tab. Now I'm back here because in order to complete this, I have to hit this finish button. Now I actually have my levels on top of their levels. Okay, now I'm gonna do the grid lines. Let's just go open up this floor plan that's in there. Again, there's all the architect's grid lines. Same procedure, copy monitor, select the link, pick on the architect's link, I'm going to say options. It's going to say, okay, these are the uh, grid lines that the architect has. These are my grid line bubbles. You can change them anyway. That's okay. Just to note. Now I'm going to say copy. I'm going to say multiple. I'm going to do a big crossing box. And then I'm going to use my filter button. And I'm going to say only the grid lines. Thank you. I don't want any floors or walls to be copy monitored. Okay. And then I'm going to hit finish. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to think through. It's going to copy monitor those in. We see the symbol. It does this thing again. I can pick on here and then hit this finish button and then it's done. Now I have my grid lines. Okay. And if I go to say a north or south elevation, any elevation, okay, I'm going to have my grid lines and I'm going to have the architect grid and, and level lines in the back and you can see there's some kind of doubles here okay that's because you're seeing your grid lines and the architect's grid lines we're going to come back in our next lesson and talk about 
turning off the grid lines only in the architect's model as well as the level lines.